Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. And hopefully today I haven't been possessed by the ghost of a demon who's swallowed a garbage disposal. Seriously, sorry about that. There was some hardware issues. But perhaps today will work out a little better. Although our hull seems to be worse for wear. Also, the rebel fleet is right on our ass, so we need to get cracking. We have the option of going to a hostile sector, or a nebula. And I guess I will go with the nebula, since that will slow the rebel fleet down somewhat. We're still not doing super great in the weapons department. So, on the off, off, off chance that we find a store here, maybe we'll be able to do something about it. So, which way should we go first? Perhaps up and around? Perhaps down and around? Maybe up and around will be the better choice. It's all random, so it's all good. Okay, we've got a slug assault ship. It's a black market weapons trader, hey! Uh, we could purchase an unknown weapon. You know what? Sure, why the hell not? And we got a fire beam. So what does that do? A beam weapon that starts fires. Well, that's um... That could be pretty cool. Especially since we can use it. Uh, let's go to our ship and take a look at the stats. It does no physical damage, but it ignites fires. Okay, it's not going to be good passing through shields, but it has a high chance of starting fires. This could be pretty useful if we want to take out the enemy crew. Note, could be useful. We'll have to see. It's going to have some limited use, but it might turn out pretty cool if I can get my strategy on. Okay, and now we have... These are sacred Urgentinag clan hunting grounds, and we are prey. Okay, it looks like they're probably going to try to board us right away. So, we'll deal with that. And, since we can sense where they are, maybe a fire beam would be just the thing to do some damage to their personnel. We'll find out soon enough. But meanwhile, let's get ready to have some guys... Oh, there they are. I'm losing health fast. And I need my other weapons to... kind of hurry up and charge here. I don't want to starve them for oxygen because that's going to be a problem in the long run. Let's see if we can do something about their shields. I think I missed. Well, we'll just unload the rest of the stuff in there, see what happens. Oh, it's this kind of beam. We can get a... wow, that's got a huge freaking um, thing on it. We'll fire it there. Meanwhile, let's get these guys in here to help. And while you're at it, you can go in and help as well. Can't really tell whether those fires are working. But we can assume they're doing something. Okay, they teleported back. We need to get some of our dudes healed up. So we'll do that now. And you, NG, can go and fix my teleporters. Meanwhile, we'll try to breach their shields. Which we did. 
And we will hit this with the burst laser to try to get their weapons down a bit. Okay, just a bit. That's not bad. And we can use the fire beam to really try racking up here. Um, it would have helped if I'd have uh, actually clicked the button properly, I suppose. And also they've got a mid bay, so it might not be the best idea to send my guys over. But I can, however, try to keep on doing the... Um, well, I can do this. Yeah! And hit that. I don't have a lot to work with, but... I'm doing what I can with what I got. Alright. You can go stand back up here, and you two get ready for a potential boarding. And we've got the fire beam which I really want to try to hurt their guys with. Maybe I can make it through that and that. Yes. Yes! Fire it, damn it! I don't know if those are on fire or not. There's not a whole lot of way of finding out just yet. But I could teleport my guys over there. But first, I think what I'll do is cause some damage on their med bay. Yeah! Okay, now their med bay is definitely on fire. And I'll teleport my dudes over to here. Oh shit, that's on fire too. Okay, now it's not, but there's no oxygen either. I'm gonna just stick these guys right over here for a second. Uh, no. You know what? There we go. Alright, and they've still got one guy in the shield room. But my guys are taking a lot of damage really fast, so... That's not great. And I don't want to go stand in the fire, so as soon as this is back up, as soon as this is back up, oh this ain't good, this ain't good at all, I'm stuck in here, I need my dudes back, ah shit, well that was a problem, um, lost another couple of crew, including my mantis, Well, let's just see if I can take these guys out. Yep, I did, but at what cost? At what cost? Well, I've got one spare Ingi and that's it. But at least now I have the methods by which to take their dudes out, except I can't find them, so I should probably upgrade my sensors which would work great if I weren't in a nebula. Eh, I'll just do it. This'll eventually come in handy. Things aren't going super great. I guess they could be worse. I've learned some more lessons. Okay, we've jumped into the middle of a plasma storm. There's incapacitated ships. And we could have our pilot carefully explore the debris. So let's do that. We found some scrap and a boarding drone. Okay, good. Now let's get out of here before anything else bad happens. And I've got a lot of shit that needs to be powered back up. Immediately. Okay. Navigate the fog blind. We bump holes with the mantis ship. This transgression will be overlooked. Nebula very dangerous. Next time humans all die. 
Hmm. I think I can take him. They'll probably teleport over, but I'll just have to do what I can with the crew that I have. Which has become significantly less recently. But I can make this work. I has confidence. Okay, they're over here somewhere. Let's see where. I can't tell. Ah, they're in my oxygen room. Awesome. Okay, you and you get in to that oxygen room and start fighting the mantises. Meanwhile, we want to take out as much of their shit as we can. Starting with their shields. That missed. But we'll set a lot of their shit on fire and hopefully that'll help some. It's not helping a lot, truth be told. Okay, you guys get in there. We'll try starving the mantises out a little bit. This might be a huge problem as far as my oxygen levels go. And now they're in here trying to blow that up, I think. Good to know. Let's try to breach their shields again. Yeah, that's hitting their dudes. And the fire beam. Alright. They're almost healed back up. Or healed back up at all, I should say. And these guys are all the way in here. So I'm going to send these guys to repair the oxygen for right now. Because I need it. And we'll try to do something to their weapons. And that's going to hit. And these guys are almost dead, so I can spare these guys to go fight briefly. And we'll do something with the fire beam while we're at it. Set as much of their crap on fire as we can. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now you two, go heal up. And close my doors. Having any sensors at all available would be awesome at this point. Okay. These guys... Almost healed up. I should probably heal Major Asshole up when we get a chance as well. My oxygen is good enough right now. I don't know... what I'm looking at at the enemy ship. What I can do is I do believe some of these guys are in here with the fire. So maybe I shouldn't send my guys over. Maybe I should just set shit on fire at a high rate. And that will be how I get rid of the enemies. And also attack their med bay directly. There. It'll be a little tricky for them to recover from that. Yeah, they're blowing up real good. I wonder where the enemies are. Alright. This might be a little risky. I'm gonna teleport over. See if I can figure out where the bad guys are. Or, yeah, the bad guys. There's one of them. There's another. And we got them. Alright, we stripped the ship of useful materials. Got plenty of scrap, lots of scrap. Now let's bring our guys back. We'll get everyone healed up, including you, Major Asshole. 
you should go start repairing this. And you can get back to your post. And... No, wait. This is your post. There we go. Now we're in good shape. And you just stand by in there to be standing by. Right. I wonder if there's any bonus for manning the sensors. I don't think there is. Not that I'd be able to get one in this uh, nebula anyway. So yeah, lots of scrap, lots of scrap. Very little risk to myself. What do we want to do next? Um, upping my teleporter speed might be a good idea. Getting level 3 doors might be a great idea. Let's do that. If we're going to keep running into mantises. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like this fire beam. It's not going to do me a lot of good against this ship. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. Alright. Fire beam will do no good here. So we'll do this, and we have to stop them from getting away. So we're going to want to pull out all the stops on their navigation system. The breach bomb should uh, do nicely there. And failing that, we also want to uh, take out their ships so it'll be easier to hit. Or shields, I should say. But I definitely want to make sure... I hit this first with something, anything. Ooh, that's a little rough. Uh, you go fix that. Okay. Their FTL is definitely delayed. Um, let's see. I've got a bunch of broken shit all over the place. From where they hit me pretty hard. So, I will see if I can reach bomb their shields next and use that as a jumping off point to use these other things right now it should be easier to hit their weapons uh, while we're doing that you go repair this and slash heal yourself okay good Whoa. Not cool, guys. I hope that's not on fire. My hole is taking a beating. Let's hit their weapons. With these. And I'll breach bomb that again. Okay. This should make things a little easier. But I'm going to have to absolutely find a shop real soon to repair my hull. We made it through. But at what cost? Whoops. What cost? Okay, everybody, back to your stations. Mm. My hull is so weak. There are no shops to be found. Maybe I'll find uh, some guy that'll repair my stuff. Okay, a pirate ship. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid us, you assume that it's a smuggler. Uh, we will activate our weapons and scare them away again just because my hull's so low. Oh, hello. We've got a bribe. I'll take a bribe. <laughs> Look the other way. Well, while we're doing this, we could probably upgrade some stuff. Like, for instance, let's see, we need 180 to take our shield systems up to 4. That would leave us with um, 86 scrap, which should be enough to get another two power bars to power it. Alright. Now, mark my words, we'll immediately find a shop that we could have used that scrap to repair our stuff with. But if we don't, I'll have some extra um, 
shielding to help me pull through. Okay. Nothing there. It might behoove me to just uh, jump forth and get to the last sector as soon as I can, because there are places in the final sector where you can get free repairs. And I'm not seeing any such place here. Only silence was there to greet us. So... Ah, what the hell. Let's hop down here, then here. Hope like hell we don't get ambushed. Okay. We need... We have an automated rebel scout, which will not drop scraps worth shit, so let's attempt to outrun it. And we couldn't. So these guys are probably going to hit us pretty hard. And how many of our systems are out? We've got oxygen out, med bay out, a goodly bit of our weapons. This ain't good, Woozy. We might have to make a run for it. At least we've got all those lovely shields. Yeah, I've got basically nothing to work with here. I'm just gonna try to get through its uh, shields to its weapons. And, well, that's not working very well at all, is it, Steve? If I don't make the jump to uh, hyperspace or whatever, I think I'm going to be just about screwed here. Oh good, it missed. Oh, and there's a fire in the medical room too. Probably ought to do something about that. Alright. Another one for you. Yeah, let's get out of here. My hull is critical, and I'm taking a shit ton of damage, and oh, there's a store. Just in time, but actually it's not really in time at all, because that is only barely fixing my stuff. Is this fire out or not? I'll send you around to effect repairs. I should probably close the doors before I do that and blast him out of an airlock. Well, if he can fix it, he can start healing himself. Physician, heal thyself. And turn the oxygen on would be a good idea. And get my evade back up. My teleporter can go back online. And you should probably also try to fix this. It is in disrepair. Yeah, that's three whole levels of disrepair. Do, 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 do. Well, while I'm doing... Well, while I'm uh, near a store, I can make a jump and... See if I can, um... No, you know what? You just sit right there. So you'll have access to the whole ship. Or close to access. I'm going to try to find a fight to get into. Yeah, okay. So maybe I can grab some scrap and do just a little bit more hull repair. Prepare to be boarded. Oh, fantastic. This is out freaking standing. I am so screwed. I am so, so screwed right now. Alright, you need to get away, and I need to try to choke out the enemies as much as possible. can't tell what they're shooting at. Okay, now they're shooting at this door. So you get in here and get ready to fight them. 
Hopefully they'll be mostly oxygen starved by the time they make it in. Good thing I got those extra doors, huh? And we'll close these off now. And if we have to, we'll fall back to the med bay. Okay. That wasn't too bad, but we didn't get any scrap either, which is a little disappointing. So, you guys go heal up. Hmm, the captain's taking a hit as well. So, Captain, you go heal up too. You've earned it. You go stand by in your little central location there. Alright. Where are we off to? Do we have time to get up here and back? I don't think it's safe. I don't know. Let's uh, not push our luck any further than it already... Wait a minute. I've got shit I could sell. Don't I? I do. I have a boarding drone that I'm never going to use. That will help me buy repairs. Awesome. Now I feel like I'm not going to explode. I probably could have used these mantises as well. But really, I couldn't afford it by nearly half. Alright, moving on. What do we have here? Nothing. So, it looks like for once we're actually going to make it to the final sector. So that should be fun. And we will attempt it next time. Until then, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.